Hey everybody, so I'm doing a healing tarot, okay? So it's it's kind of like what you need to be made aware of right now uh, in order for you to be able to fully heal and move forward, okay? So I'm guessing whoever's looking at this, you've been going through some emotional stuff or some sort of drama lately that you're going to need some healing from, okay? So we're going to tap into our ancestors or our spirit guides and just see what it is that you need to be made aware of right now, what it is that you need to do in order for you to heal, okay, in order for you to move forward. All right, so right now... The first message coming through is you're kind of at this stage right now where you're you're on a bit of a journey, I guess, because you've now you've completed that phase of like whatever it is that's just happened, whatever it is that's that's hurt you, you know. You're now on this journey to to try and to find um, a way to heal, okay? And the message coming through is the main way for you to heal is for you to be in charge of that healing process, okay? for you to be the one that's driving the that's driving the chariot forward all right it's going to be if you want for you to find that happiness for you to heal all over to heal your spirit to heal your mind you need to be in charge of the direction that you're going all right if you let somebody else guide you you're only going to lose yourself again you're going to lose that spirit you're going to lose that connection to your spiritual side you're going to you're going to lose that control in your mind okay and you're going to pretty much give up your happiness to someone else so it's it's not saying you can't do it with someone it's about the fact that you need to be steering your direction where you're going okay and that's going to be really important for you to keep going forward on this journey okay and that's that moving forward is also going to involve not letting other people hold you back okay not uh you kind of want to be independent from the need of of others to validate what you're doing okay be independent of the need for to actually care what others are saying or doing okay you're because you're going you're going into a realm much bigger than this petty stuff okay and whatever has been going on, um, listening or letting anybody put in any negativity around you, it's only going to stop you healing, okay? So like I said, it's going to be you in control of that journey and in control of the energy that comes your way. You're going to need to really make sure that you've got a positive energy around you, okay? If you have a negative energy around you, you're going to need to try to distance yourself from that. Whether it's the people, whether it's the environment, then find Find a way to separate yourself from that. Even if you have to go within yourself, you know, sometimes you're in a negative environment and you can't even remove yourself from the environment, okay? And if that's not an option, then find that escape within yourself, okay? Remember that it's all about you and you've got all that power in you. You just need to kind of open up the door and tap into that power that's already within you, all right? And like I said, it's if this is all in order for you to heal, all right? You need to remember that you can be successful off your own efforts. You need to remember that you don't need someone else to carry you to your journey, that you don't need someone else to hold your hand along the way, okay? You can be, you can do all of this yourself and you can be that driving force to heal yourself as well, okay? So whatever's been going on, whatever's hurt you, you just, the main message coming through is that that belief, that belief in you is going to be so important. And that belief in your intuition as well, okay? Believing in something bigger than you, that's going to also be really important, okay? Because that's kind of what you're being asked to do, to, to give yourself over, to give yourself over to you and give yourself over to your intuition, okay? And that can be hard trusted in something that's, um, you know, I guess it's not so tangible, all right? 
But that's that's what's necessary in order for you to move forward, in order for you to heal, okay? And you need to love yourself, all right? The main message coming through is whatever's gone on here, whatever's hurt you, you now you're now kind of trapped in your mind, okay? You're trapped kind of reliving the hurt in a sense, okay? You haven't quite freed yourself of the trauma uh, that was caused by this situation. So in a sense, it's like the trauma's holding you captive, okay? It's holding and you're stuck to this to this negative memory to this negative experience to this negative time in your life okay and that's then stopping you from being able to move forward it's stopping you from being able to love yourself it's stopping you from being able to love others fully as well okay because as long as this negativity has got you frozen it's got you trapped it's got control of you okay and while it's got control of you how, how can you actually even love yourself? And if you can't love yourself, how can you love somebody else, okay? So what you really need to do is, like I was saying earlier, it's about take control of your journey. Remove the fears in your head. Unlock yourself because it's, it's more like you've locked yourself in your mind in this event, in this, this, this horrible period, but you, you've kind of forgotten that you've got the power to get outside of it again, okay? You've got the power to find that positivity to 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 take yourself out of that situation all right you just need to recognize that and it's really going to start off with with that love okay don't forget the power of love and what a powerful feeling that is and that's what's really going to help you because it's it's this negativity this negative energy whether it's from others and negative energy from your own fears okay and your fears are founded and everything you've gone through is valid like I'm not taking that from you what I'm saying is you want to just acknowledge that acknowledge how hard it's been acknowledge how terrible it was but also then acknowledge how far you've come acknowledge where you are now acknowledge the the whole round phase you've done the whole journey that's been completed and how you're now in this place where you're actually seeking to heal so you've already come miles to even be to be seeking this to be seeking to heal all right so you just need to remember that yeah you've got that power and free yourself of that negative Activity because you're already using the power so continue to use it be determined and keep using it all right and again it's going to be a time of reflection it's going to be a time to like i said let your intuition guide you let you let let that in the light take you to the next phase where you're going to go all right because that that reflection that time with yourself it's going to help heal you it's going to heal your mind it's going to heal all this trauma and all this angst and all this anxiety and all this stuff that's surrounded whatever you've been going on you really need that time of reflection okay and like i said earlier let your intuition learn to trust in you and your intuition and let you be the leader of your journey and let your intuition be the leader of your journey okay because you do have a lot of this power within you and you just need to let it come out all right and you'll tap into that by taking that time to reflect by taking that time to meditate all right and the power of meditation is so powerful so that's where you really need to be right now and doing all this together in conjunction with each other it's going to start that healing process for you okay and it's going to start to take you to a better place and start to help your spirit heal start to help your mind heal and then and with that your physical will heal as well okay i hope this gives you some guidance